comes out. So quick look at the back stop blur. Here you have it. We've got light scattered showers heading out of Orange County into Riverside and San Bernardino, and most definitely snow over the San Bernardino and the Riverside County Mountains, as well as part of the San Gabriels. We'll have the rest of your forecast coming up in a bit. All right, Vera, thank you. Now at 10, the Metro Gold Line is back on schedule after a stolen car crashed into the light rail and then ricocheted into a home in Highland Park, all during a police pursuit. It happened just before 5.30 this evening on North Figueroa Street near South Avenue 50. Police took one man and three underage girls into custody. One train passenger did receive minor injuries and the crash caused 20-minute delays to the Metro line. Shock and tragedy in La Mirada, where a grandmother was killed by a hit-and-run driver as she walked her grandchildren home from school this afternoon. All three were rushed to the hospital where the grandmother was pronounced dead. The children are expected to survive their injuries. KTLA's uh, Kimberly Chang is live with the latest on the search for that driver. Kimberly? Chair Michael, residents say this grandmother was often seen walking through the neighborhood with her grandkids. Tonight, a makeshift memorial honors her memory. I don't understand what happened today. Juan Chavarria lives nearby and says it was his wife and grandchildren who were hit. Detectives released this photo of a dark gray 2015 to 2017 Toyota Camry, captured on a security camera leaving the scene of a hit and run. A grandmother was struck and killed and two of her grandkids injured as they walked through the neighborhood. Investigators say they didn't see it coming. All three were hit from behind. Chavadillo received a call that they were in the hospital. He spoke with us before finding out that his wife passed away. He says he often goes with her to pick up their grandkids, but today he was working. Flowers lay at the site of the crash in the 14,800 block of Escalona Road in La Mirada. It happened around 1 this afternoon. The driver is believed to be a man. The Camry likely has damage to the front passenger side near the headlamp and bumper area. The children ages 6 and 9 had minor injuries. Residents say this road can be dangerous for pedestrians. They were walking on the street as I go to high school every day to drop off my dollar. And there's no sidewalk and all the kids are walking on the street and the city won't do anything about it. It's the city's fault. A lot of people come right here. And they speed down here really fast. And you have kids crossing when the, the school comes out. It's likely that Toyota Camry, the suspect car, still Come has on, front end damage. If you yeah. have any information, you're asked to contact the Norwalk huh? Sheriff Station. Run. Reporting live in La Mirada, Kimberly Run. Chang, KTLA 5 yeah, News. Know. Kimberly, thank you. The 27-year-old son oh. of a Newport Beach couple remains behind bars tonight, accused of killing his parents and their housekeeper in their multi-million dollar home. But the motive for the murders remains a mystery, and the cause of the victim's deaths has not been released. Mary Beth McDade spoke to a private investigator hired by the couple in the months leading up to the heinous murders, hoping to avert a tragedy. It's a story you'll see only on Five MB. Yeah, Mike and Jeff, the private investigator, says that his parents were very worried about him because he was acting extremely mentally unstable. He says that they were trying to gain conservatorship for him. Breaking news in Newport Beach where Police are investigating a triple homicide. When news broke that 27-year-old Camden Nicholson allegedly killed his parents and their maid inside the parents' multi-million dollar Newport Beach home, private investigator Michael Youssef's heart sank. I was actually shocked. I was complete shock. A month prior, he says, the parents, Kim and Richard Nicholson, had hired him to find their son. They hired me because they wanted to uh, find their son and wanted me to surveil him and build a case for a conservatorship. They felt that he's not acting normal. He tells us the Nicholsons became very worried about their son after he stormed out of the family home in mid-December following a confrontation with them. They told Michael that Camden stole his father's car and vanished. They feared, they feared that he might have committed suicide or he's in a hospital thrown somewhere. According to Michael, the parents said that their son had grown up a normal, happy child. And then, after going away on a church retreat when he was 19 for nine months, he returned severely depressed and began acting erratically. Taking weed, um, he was uh, definitely on lots of steroids, watching lots of porn. Uh, in the past, he made contacts 
with some escort services. Michael says Camden eventually turned up in a motel. He had a false credit card, so he stayed at the Marriott and started giving away $1,000 tips, according to the father. In some instances, it was uh, totaling up to $15,000. After his father barely canceled the credit card, Michael says Camden sent his parents angry messages, calling them fake and scum and telling them not to contact him. But his mom and father, who was a CEO at several Orange County laboratories, didn't give up. Uh, mostly they were texting him or emailing him, or are you, come home. Unfortunately, when Camden did finally return home on February 13th, he allegedly murdered the people who loved him most. At this point, police have not revealed how they believe that Camden murdered his parents. He is due back in court on March 8th when he is expected to enter a plea. For now, reporting live here in Orange, Mary Beth McDade will send it back to you guys in the studio. Thank you, Mary Beth. Another Orange County murder mystery has finally been solved more than 45 years after 11 year old Linda O'Keefe was abducted and strangled in Newport Beach. Police say they have finally arrested her killer. On July 6, 1973, you know, Linda O'Keefe never you know, made it home from summer school. Her body would later be found in the Back Bay area. She had been strangled and sexually assaulted. For decades, the case remained cold. Then, in January, detectives got a break when DNA from the case matched a new submission to a genealogical website. The results led them to 72-year-old James Allen Neal of Colorado, who went by the name James Layton at the time of the killing. We're very, very confident, based upon the DNA, um, that uh, Mr. Neal is both uh, should be charged with murder as well as the kidnapping and the allegations of sexual assault. What was your personal reaction when you heard this news? Wow. Uh, just, we got him. Neal was arrested yesterday in Colorado Springs. He could be back in California by the end of the week if he does not fight extradition. Both of Linda's parents have since died. She is survived by two sisters. And police in Inglewood have also made an arrest in a decades-old cold case child killing. 50-year-old Edward Donnell Thomas has been charged in the kidnap murder of 11-year-old William Tillett. The fourth grader was walking home from school in May of 1990 when he disappeared. His body was later found in a carport in Hawthorne. 